Hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to Star Sector. We are in the middle of our invasion of the Erebus star system and hopefully our attempt to wipe out the hegemony faction once and for all. Now, unfortunately for us, we are lacking quite a bit in supplies right now. <laughs> I actually don't have enough supplies to quickly repair my navy. As you can see here, we're lacking 448. We need to, we only have 277. So we may have to go into a large battle momentarily without full strength, unfortunately. There's a lot of enemies everywhere. <laughs> What's this? A bunch of random concrete. Now, the enemy has sent a lot of fleets to try and deal with us here. I'm going to try and attack some of these pickets. Oh, wait, that's not good. Because as you can see, there's what, like five small fleets and one large one in the nearby location. We unfortunately have, I think, 30 days until our orbital station is repaired. So at least at the moment, we're not looking too great. We have to attack enemies that are more numerous than us while also trying to defend this base. Okay, they're attacking me. That's quite a few of them, actually. Are they going to engage me? They are. Nice. Okay, we're going to engage with just my two main ships at this point. Now, between episodes, I had a look at the market, everybody. And do you know what was inside the market? A shield modification. Behold. My shield is now way larger than it was before. <laughs> this will hopefully mean that we take a lot less damage from various uh, enemy attacks. I have built in this shield mod, by the way. I think it's very handy. I've also changed out... Originally, we had an ECM package for the missiles, which are I don't think was that important. So instead, I've added on, I think, fast weapon gyros. So they move 75% faster with turrets. And also, they have more ammo as well, which will hopefully make us a little bit more powerful when we go to fighting. Okay, so where's the enemy at? There they are. Using two... <laughs> Using two slow ships may not have been a bit overkill here, but we can easily kill the enemies, I think. Get them. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to go for the ones that are actually a little bit more uh, large, like this ship over here. I want to try and not use many ships as we can, because we need to try and maintain our CR and stuff for the larger battle later on. I'm sorry, sir. You have no chance. <laughs> I'm too powerful. Wow, this Gatling gun is firing for ages now. It's just got 50% more ammo. <laughs> it never stops firing. Yeah, so my hope is as well, with the change of my ship design a little bit, hopefully we can actually get myself a little bit more um, point defense accuracy. Because if they can turn quicker, they can actually turn to attack in um, more useful situations. Screw you, Hound! Oh, my missile's too slow. The downside of what I've done, though, is my missiles are 50% slower. So we're having a little bit of a problem with that. I'm going to focus on this big ship. Oh, there's two big ships. Wait, that's more... Okay. They're calling some backups. <laughs> that was more big ships than I thought they had, to be honest. Easy kill this guy, I think. Okay, the backup should arrive shortly. I'm capturing a point. I didn't even realise. What point is this? Nap boy, nice, more speed. This new shield is already way better than my last one. I can literally like have a lot more angles now when I fight. A bit concerned about all these enemies flanking us, though. I'm trying to get my back guns to shoot it while we move around. There, yeah, that's good. That's looking good for me. So I want to check as well. Do I actually vent higher flux while using the flicker core? I do, but not much. Not a lot. That's way more. Let's go and assist the haze on this attempt to kill this enemy here. A lot of... I'm being targeted quite a lot here, but at least they're keeping away from my whole tank and carrier, because it could be a different situation. We'll be very careful about flux it. Feels like I'm fighting pirates, but this is actually an enemy nation. <laughs> they're free up something that seem that they didn't seem that good to me. They never have. They're just too slow and hulky. Nice. Good job, everybody. Oh. That was a close one. Oh. Oh, no. 
this thing was damaged. What is that thing anyway? <laughs> we don't know. Okay, looks like we've pretty much wrapped up all the enemies here. We probably have spent way more um, supplies than we probably needed, to be honest, but it is what it is. Oh, that guy is so screwed. Good job, everybody. There's two left. This should be pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to assign my guys to do a fighter strike on both of them. They're being a bit too concerned with their units here. They, I think if they just did a fighter strike earlier, they could have easily killed one of these already. Okay, we're going in now on the bottom one. For some reason, I'm moving down. That's what we Okay, it's fine. Easy. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we're going to gain enough supplies from this battle that we can repair our damage in the starport. And then we can go and attack the main enemy invasion fleet coming towards our ocean world. Easy. Done. Cool. Was that it? I think we're good to go. Yes, we are. Perfect. Uh, loads of them actually escaped from that, interestingly. Uh, we're going to send off some guys. So I did actually double check between episodes as well. Uh, this starts actually UCR. There really should be some kind of display, I think, saying how much you're going to lose. And also, maybe like an efficiency rating for your pursuit force, because like, I don't think sending a carry is a good idea at all, personally. But uh, it's there's not enough information on that part of the game. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say on that one. I need more information. Okay. Good stuff. I don't think we're going to have enough supplies to heal, unfortunately. We need 525 now. What we can do... Suspend... Wait, I need... Yeah, okay, we're going to spend repairs on my main ship. It's going to be a bit crazy, but don't worry about it, everybody. It's fine. Repair all, and then we're going to re-enable repairs. I'm going to be a little bit weaker than I should be, but at least it means that the rest of my navy is pretty ready for this upcoming battle. So, where's that main fleet going? It is there. Let's go and take this guy down. He's got three onslaughts, but they are very damaged. Uh, they are having an awful time. That is still a big navy, though. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start off strong again, though. We're bringing our big guys at the start. Actually, you should be... Yeah, we're bringing our big... It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's deploy those fellas, and we're also bring in the little frigates as well. Now, actually, I will say, between episodes, I have actually um, repaired them with the D-Mods, because it only cost me, like, oh, that was a bit close. It only cost me, um, like, 10 grand to repair both of them, so it was very cheap. The rest of the stuff I've left alone, though. Okay, so we move up. Now, we've got to be careful, because there is, what was it, three battleships in this one? So there's quite a few battleships, to say the least. Okay, there's one enemy spotted. We'll try and get the fighter strikes to kill a lot of the bigger ships they have that aren't their battleships. And then we'll focus at the end on the big ones. I'll probably do like an avoid command on most of them for now. Because the hammerhead. Ah, nice. No, there's some destroyers up here. I'm going this way. We can easily kill this guy. If we can get close enough. Hi. Wow. <laughs> That poor hound. Okay, I want fire strikes on... Okay, we want to do void commands on these big ships, and I want fire strikes on these uh, cruisers. You can at least get this eagle, I think. It's flux. It's going down. Come on, guys. Maybe we can at least get it to retreat, I think. Okay, uh, deployment points. Let's call in some more backup, and I also want to see more of my destroyers on the field. Let's go. I've got to be careful with my own flux, though, because if I go too far, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, that eagle is out of there. Can I get him, though? Believe! The flux! The flux! Yes! Okay, back up, back up, back up! 
The greed! The greed! <laughs> the greed was too much! Okay, I made a mass. They're all going for the same spot. What is happening right now? That was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry. I, I was too greedy. That probably cost me more to repair than probably the ship I blew up. So... So one enemy has been destroyed. We have a few enemies here and out and about though. Uh, let's just assign a quick gank command on this guy, shall we? Just get him out of the way. Uh, what else have we got going on? We got a carrier and another... We're doing another fight strike on this guy. To be fair though, I'm pretty sure I repaired 25% of damage taken to my whole armor after battle. So we, this should be fine, right? Or was it up to 25%? I think it was up to. So right now we're fine. <laughs> okay, is that over yet? Can I repair my... Repair my flux. It's not really the correct term, but it's fine. This guy's just getting destroyed. Nice, good job. Okay, so we still have two onslaughts and we have a bunch of... Griffin's down. Good job, guys. Good job. That Falcon is having an awful day. He's like, these mechs are chasing me. Help me. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't deployed the other one yet. Also, that guy looks like he might need some assistance. Uh, should we send a... Monitors suck, by the way. They are probably one of the most tanky ships there are. Uh, what we'll do is sign another fire strike mission. Oh, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you, game. Uh, cool. The game knows. It's got AI learning. I can't just missile strike to a carcass there. It's fine. We need to try and get to a position where one of the battleships gets... Um, abandoned by its friends. But we also should probably wait until we kill a lot of their reinforcements as well. So we'll keep, we'll keep the ship steady. Uh, let's call in our two additional allies here. We'll keep the phase ship to the end because it costs a lot of the point points anyway. And it only has like, I think, two or three minutes of combat time. So we'll put it in at the end. Okay, so... I'm going to do a strike mission. Oh, we're still trying to kill that Falcon over there. I'm going to make it into the ship. We've got to try and protect our carrier to my right here. Because as we all know, it hold tanks. So we want to avoid that if we can. Though it does seem that they're splitting off to the north there, which is pretty nice. If I assign a fire strike mission, you can hopefully go and take that guy down. I've got to keep away, I've got to keep these ships away from my main feet though. He's coming on the flank. Okay, screw it, he's far enough away, we're gonna go for it. Hi, hi, how's it going bro? Oh, 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 oh. Stay back man, stay back. That went pretty well. Um, it looks like we got another one <laughs> even further north. Let's do another fight strike on that guy. we make our way up that way. They're still trying to take down this Falcon. Um, they'll do it eventually. It's fine. <laughs> Just give them a few hours. It's not a problem. Do I own all the control points? I do. Ooh. I'll be careful here. My flux is a bit too high for my liking. That's not going to work. That is not the correct type of uh, fighter wing for that situation. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, don't, don't hold flat. No, 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 stay away from the front line. Back up, man, back up. I need you to send your units to go and kill the guy, mate. That's what we need to see. Are we going in? I think we're going in. Let's do it. Really there? Oh, let's get this chunking. It's a chunky monkey. We got it. 
Nope. Keep those missiles away from me, sir. So we're kind of in an awkward position now because, in theory, the enemy, if they get reinforcements, if they still have some, they will spawn in on top of my face. So, um, <laughs> it's fine. We'll just make sure we kill them as they come in, I guess. Is that one trying to retreat already? They can't be. Oh, my haze is here. Let's hope there's no one behind me right now. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Um, <clears throat> well, we're going to have to either win or lose here because there's a giant onslaught that's appeared in front of my face. This is exactly what I said could happen, and it happened. I never learn, everybody. I want to see everybody engage this onslaught. We have to kill it now before we get flanked, because we are in between... I think they're in there somewhere. They're in between the rest of the fleet right now. My flux is too low. Ooh! I'm gonna bend. Oh, my haze has saved the day. What a hero. A hero of the people. Nice. Good job, everybody. This was unexpected. Well, kind of. And also, it worked. One enemy battleship has been destroyed. Let's try and get back in front of the uh, defensive group here. So, what we've got next. The onslaught is coming directly on us at the moment. And the other one is absolutely miles away. So, I think we're at a capacity now where we can probably engage this properly. So, I'm going to switch that out to an engage command. And we're going to go in. I would also like to see a fire strike on this dominator, maybe. No, we'll leave that alone. We'll tell everyone to engage this enemy. If they can. And I'm going to focus on dominating myself at the moment. Move my shields up. Because they weren't up a second ago. Okay. I want to overload, overload. Yes. Yeah, well, some of our frigates are um, having a bad day. Oh, soon. We're leaving beef now. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Where do you think you're going? Wait, what though? It missed. <laughs> Normandy is damaged and it's retreating. Where is Normandy? Oh, it's, it's trying to fight. You realize there's an avoid command on that ship, right? I mean, if you die, Normandy, it's your own fault. I told you not to go there. Anyway, moving on. Um... Is he okay? He may not be okay. I think he's dead. Oh, he's super dead. Well, that sucks. Um, but like I said, his fault. Should have followed orders. Okay, let's pull off the reinforcements from the main enemy ship there. To be fair, we actually have a good chance now that my recovered ships won't actually have demods now because of my traits, so we should be okay. Uh, did you just attack me? <laughs> Wait, what happened there? I was betrayed. Well, good news is we can now call in our uh, face ship. So. Leave that. And the second onslaught is down. Beautiful, everybody. Uh, I want to see another engage command on this fella, and we're going to finish the job, I think. Which is going to take a little bit of time for us to get down there, but we will make our way over. All speed ahead. Oh, that phase ship is dead. Um... Do I not assign you a command that you're meant to... Please retreat. It doesn't seem to want to retreat everybody. It seems to be stupid. What, is this got some kind of AI mod that blocks the brains of my units? What's up with this onslaught? <laughs> it's like, it's like got the ability to make everyone stupid around it. It's got superpowers, everybody. It's a super fire ray.
Okay, this random carriage should be destroyed. And my main target is just beyond. Imagine the damage if that wasn't using its ability there, it would have been dead. Maybe that. Okay. Pour it in the engine. I love it. The engines didn't have less armor anyway, so you can get a... Oh, this turned around. Ooh, are you okay? <laughs> Something weird happened there. I'm not sure what it was, though. Nice! Good job, everybody. We did lose one ship, but... It's okay. Uh, what, what's going on? <laughs> there's, there's been a retreat, everybody. Okay, let's have a look. So, we are going to send some of the small ships to go and do their little... Oh, we got 100% destruction! Beautiful! Ship recovery. Let's recover our Normandy. Um, I would love a freighter, but this is too big, I think. Uh, where's its, where's its flux? Seven maximum burn. That's too... S too slow, everybody. Too slow for me. Too slow for me. Um, I want to keep my faster speed if we can. Recover. Damn! Oh, we get some weapons! We needed weapons for invasions! Yes! This is perfect. Um, let's put these up with the important stuff, like the prisons and whatnot. Uh, dump the rest of the fuel. Actually, we probably should try and sell it, shouldn't we? But... Let's have a look. I would like to sell... All this junk, please. Probably should sell somewhere. I'm gonna sell half my fuel as well, just because I keep get looting it from battles. Um, that do. Money. Nice. There's still quite a large problem with the lack of supplies here, though. But I think we got enough to kind of repair. We got enough to repair the fall, but then we ran out of supplies. So, <laughs> bit dodgy, bit dodgy. Uh, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to make a push out now. Because I think we've... Actually, let's just get rid of some of these little guys. Get them out of the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What do you mean? <gasps> Ceasefire has been declared. Oh, okay. Well, I guess the war's over, everybody. Um, <laughs> there was a big boar, but we managed to get this world. So I'll take it. I will take it. Well, let's head back home then, shall we? So are we still at war with the uh, Dassault faction? No, we're not. We're not at war with anybody. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, that sucks. Um, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Let's head back to our base then, shall we? Um, let's go... Well, maybe this is our opportunity to go and buy the Dreadnought, if it is available. Let's go and have a quick candor, shall we? Ah, uh, my supplies are going to be an issue, though, aren't they? I need to figure that out first. We're probably going to go and buy some supplies from the guys who are just fighting. Oh, I should have captured that stability relay. Oh, well. We'll buy some supplies, and then we'll fly over towards our other lo location. I presume our faction won't be at peace for long. I presume they're declared war on somebody. If not, I can just randomly attack somebody. That also works as well. Hi, new friends. Oh, they're not, they're not letting me use their markets. <laughs> well, never mind. For some reason, they don't like me. I can't think of why. It's a strange reason. They must hate me for some weird reason I can't think of right now. That's probably enough supplies to get somewhere, right? Let's give that a shot. Um, so, where... Oh, is that monthly income? 100 grand! Beautiful! 
Most of that is coming from my commission, actually. My commission is getting bigger and bigger, I think, when I level up, by the way. But also, Neki Ness is putting in a bit of money right now, which is pretty nice. And how is it doing with its upgrade, by the way? How is it doing with the old uh, 107 days left? And we never actually installed a beta core or the nano forge on this location. So we should fly over there as soon as we can to do that for them. Um, how's everyone doing, by the way? The, the view. Free stability now. And it's making 20k a month. So it is starting to make its money back slowly. Um, it still has those unrest to get rid of. So eventually that would be disappeared. And we'd be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to head back out into the system then. Uh, if they attack me. If they declare war when I leave. I'm going to be very unhappy. I'm just going to put it out there. Can you imagine? <laughs> we make peace. Fretex will leave. And then we take back the planet. <laughs> It's a perfect plan. It can't go wrong. Can you imagine if that actually happens though? That'd be insane. Uh, let's just duck in here, shall we? Let's have a look. So I'm just going to buy some random materials, I think. Just a little bit though. I don't want to spend too much. <gasps> yeah. I'm going to give all these prisoners to the Imperium because I really want them to be our, be our allies because I think they're awesome. Let's go to that gate and we're we'll teleport back to our homeworld. So I wonder if there's a way I can try and influence my faction to declare war on somebody. I don't know. There are a few things in the Intel tab you can look at. Let's have a quick look. So we have, we have, we have, we have. Defect profiles. What's ours? Are we passive? War wariness. Oh, it's because we've been at war for too long. We're absolutely having an awful time. I see. So we are predatory. Can opportunity declare war regardless of disposition score at favorable suspicion if player reputation level. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. I like how there's different traits between different factions, by the way. I think that's a really cool feature they've added in there. Okay, where is my gate game? I'm pretty sure, by the way, a Dreadnought costs, I think, 600 grand? Or is it 700 grand? So we're a little bit shy, but we maybe just be able to go and do like a random bounty or something and get the money we need. <gasps> Who are we all with? Volvok. Volkov, not Volvok. <laughs> what am I talking about? A Volvo. We're at war with Volvo. Cool, let's get to fight a new faction then. So we are now at war. With Volkov Industries, which is quite exciting. So I've never actually getting, gone against this faction before, so it should be interesting to see what they look like. Now, the moment of truth. Does my nation sell a Dreadnought? Hopefully they do. We don't know. How's that weird AI ship there? It's like a crab. It looks very strange. Okay. Here... It's a no, but I also need to get some supplies, so we got that. <laughs> what about the other places? I probably should check if there's officers here, by the way, so they're just flying past. Um, are you steady? Reckless. No, thank you, sir. Because unfortunately, despite me being in the faction, I have not been given um, the blueprints for the big ships. It's very annoying. Please. No. It's not here either. <laughs> Why? Why? Ooh. Cautious. No, I'm good with that as well. Oh, wait, check the other one. Check the other one. Reckless. Damn it. They all suck, everybody. They all suck. Ooh, there's loads and loads. I, I think I sold these to them at some point. I still can't believe. Okay, I was just checking what I could buy there. Is there anything cool here, by the way? Reduce, uh, I think I've actually sold all these to this faction at some point. Crossbows, Stormbreaker. Nothing that cool. Okay, uh, let's have a quick look. I was thinking if there's any mods to sell here, but there isn't, unfortunately. So, it looks like my faction is not selling a destroyer, as uh, the Dreadnought. So, we literally can't buy it, everybody. It's <laughs> simple as that. 
Ah, one thing we can- wait, there's a place we haven't checked which may sell the Dreadnought. There is. First off, we go to our Necky Nest, but there is a place called the- Ah, oh, what's- I forgot what it's called now. It's the free market. The big old free market that sells high-end ships. But where is it? Is it there? Prism Freeport. We go to Necky Nest, then we drop over at the um, Freeport. Oh wait, I need to buy some supplies, don't I? I uh, need some supplies. Uh, let's get loads. Cool, we should be good today. Sorted. Yeah, so they sell all the high-end weapons and equipment in the game. So there's a good chance if we go over there, there may be some kind of super ship. And hopefully it is our faction super ship. Did I see we're being invaded at some point though by the enemy? I think we probably have a little bit of time to go and deal with it, but I'm pretty sure I saw that there was a raid happening on one of our locations. Uh, military? Nope. They're attacking one of our systems. We will go over there afterwards. Becky's outer jump point. This must be the place. Deal. I still really want to make allies with that. I'm pretty sure if I make the faction really like us, they should join our alliance. Hopefully. And then we get to see some of their ships. There's quite a few bounties as well. How good are these bounties, by the way? 200 grand. I guess it's okay. We might consider it. Okay, Nikki Nest, I'm here to install your new stuff. So, you are to be given a beta core, which will increase my income by, like, 2,000. <laughs> and also, we are going to install a corrupted nano forge, which will increase by another 5,000. And then in 77 days, you'll become more powerful and would be awesome. That's the plan anyway. Also, we're getting pretty close to it growing to a higher level anyway, so we should get more money when that upgrades as well. And I think it also means that we can then buy ourselves an additional... Um, industry. I'm not sure what one to go for. Let's look at the market before we do that, but that'll be in the future. Okay, so that's been done. Let's head over to the prison. And we'll have a quick gander. I really should also invest in a patrol HQ in my base at some point, but that'll be later on because I don't want to do it while we're trying to save up for a big ship. There's pirate. Oh, I haven't seen pirates in ages. Oh! I haven't attacked you guys before. Their ships look pretty crazy, though. This is when they're really overpowered and they just absolutely wipe us out. Hey, let's do this. So, um, I'm going to probably just deploy the main units for now. I'm not sure what really to expect. We have to do it on the fly. Let's see. Oh, we probably should do some missions here, but it's not really going to affect us at this point anyway. But at least our, our cruiser will go off and try and pick up those locations. This is the awkward part, because I have no idea how strong this faction is. There was like one I used to use in the past called like the Templars or something, and they were designed to be ridiculously overpowered. So I don't know what the balance of this faction is going to be. They could be really bad, or they could be really, really good, and they could wipe me out. They do look pretty awesome, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, they look pretty cool. Okay. Okay, they're fast. They're, I think they're glass cannons. From that, look how fast they are. Come back, bro. What on earth? Oh, it is a glass cannon ship. Okay. Ooh, Ooh that's a whoa! What is that? I didn't realize they had a battleship. <laughs> I didn't realize that whatsoever. How? Deployment points. Uh, 60? 60! Screw that. 
We killed that in the end when we killed everyone else. That is an unknown entity, and it's going to be very far. How fast is it? 65 top speed? 65 top speed? No! You need to back up, bro. There's an unknown death ship coming towards us. That moves as fast as a light cruiser. What on earth? That wasn't that bad. So we're going to avoid it though. What is happening here? What is, what is that? We are winning though. The rest of the ships are being destroyed. Um, the thing with ships like this that are very glass candy is that they're probably going to have a lot of problems against fighters. Wow, these ships are pretty cool. Um, they are dying quite quickly. I'm a bit concerned about what's happening over here, to be honest. Um, can we set the backup? Let's send out a fire strike on both of those enemies and we can just help out our ally over there. I'm very concerned about the speed, though, because if they swarm, I guess you're going to die, unfortunately. It does kind of make my kind of ship a bit more useless, though, because I can't actually get in the range of the enemies. What is that? That looks like a, some kind of siege weapon. i got to stay close to my car here because it is moving into it. I imagine I can keep the pressure off it. Don't hold tank that. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. What is happening with these weird... Is that like some kind of... ECM or something. I knew that was going to happen. We're trying to save it, but I don't think we got enough. Oh, no, wait, escape, escape, escape. Sorry, that was the wrong button. Um, F. What on earth is happening over here? I'm going to try and save it if we can, but I think it's screwed. Okay. I'm not seeing that my allies died yet, so we may be okay. It survived! Yes! Oh, wow! He's okay. He's okay. It's merely a flesh wound, everybody. It was merely a flesh wound. Um, okay, so I'm going to sign loads of missions now. Let's finish off the enemy, and then after they're all dead, we'll go to this big enemy at the end. I'm going to keep on pressure. Ah, it's got some kind of EMP laser because it's breaking through my shields and it's tearing off my weapons, which is not great. I won't get too close because it might turn off my engine, which means I'll be at its mercy. Okay, can we call him back up? Actually, we've already won this. We'll leave it. Well, actually, I think we have. This guy doesn't seem that powerful. He's just very fast. If I had a small shield, that would have actually sucked, by the way. I like how we got an avoid command, but this guy is like, I must go this way. <laughs> okay, let's put up some pressure, shall we? Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Okay, everyone's dead. Engage, everybody. Engage, engage, engage! Destroy this target! Yeah, change my mind, change my mind. <laughs> Fight a strike on the target! Get out of there, little guy! What are you doing?! Let's let the AI fight normally and we'll tell the fighter strikes to happen instead. There you go. Oh, wow! Nice. That wasn't that bad. That was pretty easy. I might want to... If we, if we can capture that... 
I want to see what it looks like. So what is this? Heavy standard cruiser. That didn't really impress me that much. Oh, get game. Let me loot the big battleship. What on earth is this? A thermal lance. An interference autocannon. What kind of weapons are these? Stellar catapult. What on earth? What is this strange... Oh, have we, have we reached the FPS limit? Is the game going to blow up? Yeah, we've reached the memory leak, everybody. We'll be right back. We're back. Let's go to the market. Off to the market. Oh, I thought that's a grand invasion fleet. It's a grand investment fleet. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what is that? That's terrifying. Please, Freeport, your only hope. Please sell. Please sell the Dreadnought. No. No. There's no Dreadnought here. It's just sadness and disappointment. What is this, though? Why does it cost 1.5 million? <laughs> what on earth? That's a big boy. It actually costs less to deploy, though, than the ship we just blew up earlier, though, which is pretty funny. Um, well, anyway, that kind of sucks. I, I kind of curious, by the way. Um, what kind of super bot is this? Some of these bombers could worth 30 points. That's crazy. Well, I have this one. No, don't. Sorry. High and cellar. Why does this cost so much? What is that guy? <laughs> what is going on there? There's no way. I'm really tempted just to give these guys like a load of super bombers. <laughs> um, we won't though. We won't. Probably. It costs too much. It costs too much, everybody. We can't do that. Oh, also, what? Because I'm here. Is there Salamander missiles? I've been looking for Salamander missiles for ages. There's no Salamander missiles. Okay, fair enough. Fine game, fine. Don't give me what I want then. Ooh. I'm really tempted to replace some of these with like. We should keep with our own guns though. We are playing a faction, right? That's not. <laughs> like, it's fine. Wait a minute. Was this. Was this ship damaged before? Has it been repaired? Has this been repaired? I think we've lost some D mods, everybody, but I'm not certain. We definitely have here, but I'm not sure about... We may have lost some demos elsewhere as well. Anyway, apart from my eternal sadness, uh, let's go and deal with that invasion, shall we? Military invasion, 26 days, coming from... Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Invasion held, coming from where? It says they're coming from this random system without any Volkov Industries in. That doesn't make any sense. How does that make sense, game? Or are they coming from somewhere else? I don't know. Weird. Where is Volkov Industries? Do they exist? Am I imagining them? <laughs> Where are they? What? I don't understand. We were in a barren mode over here? What did that happen? I where where are they? How What on earth? Is there's a way I can check right how many units they have. Um if I go to where is it? Intel again. Scoreboard. They have 16 population, so they have probably two worlds. I just don't know where they are. <laughs> I, they could literally be anywhere. Oh, is a gate here? Oh, is that it? Oh, my bad. 
we could use that the entire time. I guess so. What we can do then, we can just go and buy ourselves an additional um, dreadnought. Not dreadnought. Battle carrier. Battle cruiser. <laughs> Got it there in the end. <laughs> If I can have two of my main ship, that'd be a lot more powerful for us, I think. So we'll go for that in a second. And I'm just going to go over here quickly to give these guys all these prisoners. Because I really, really, really want them to be a part of our alliance. If I can. Because I think I've got like seven prisoners, I think, from all the combat we've been doing. Please, Imperium. Love me. Love me, Imperium. Oh, can I do a search for the VIC? Ah! Where is this world? Oh, <laughs> how did I miss that? Oh, that's a coming from that location. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Ignore me. I am blind. Very, very blind. So I don't understand where they are. Wait, they're in the middle of the solar system. Uh, the galaxy. Here, we head back this way. Something else we could do as well, potentially, is we can just go and buy a bunch of, like, backup ships uh, with our optical works. Wait, no, not, we're not doing that because my shipyard's not finished. They will be built in a broken manner, which would be awful. Uh, let's, so this is where the all the VIC is currently living. Let's go and have a quick gander, shall we? Actually, no, first, let's go and get ourselves a bigger ship. Let's go and get ourselves another battle cruiser. You never know, they may sell a dreadnought now. We should check all three worlds just in case. This is probably going to be the most likely one, though, because this one's not even a military world. Oh, it is, sorry. This one's not a military world. We also need more fuel as well, because I've noticed that we're pretty low right now. Oh no! <gasps> I didn't realise it was time! They're being attacked! Oh, I didn't... Oh, we have to go and recapture that world. My bad. I didn't realise that was happening. Uh, okay, let's get a load of supplies. Let's get a load of fuel. We'll sell all this random Volkov stuff. We should actually sell us quite a bit. It's happening! Oh my god. I can't afford to equip it though. But we have a dreadnought, everybody. I don't know what to even call this. Excalibur. Well, how do I spell Excalibur? To Google! Ah. Ah. Wait, I need to put it. Oh no, I've messed it up. Wait a minute. Wait, what was it? A caliber. We are the DSF Excalibur. Oh, we actually got four slots for um Interesting. Damage flight deck. Oh, that's awkward. Oversized hole. Okay. Dampen mounts, increased range. Advanced ground support. Ooh. This is, it's so beautiful, everybody. It's so beautiful. I've only got Volkov weapons to put on this, though, which is pretty awkward. Um, medium turret. Let's try this, shall we? People can tell me to try this for ages. We'll try it. Well, no, let's put it in the front. Let's put some of these guys over here. We have a nice anti-shield uh, front line there. Oh, I saw it earlier. We have, there's a big version of the anti-armor gun. We can have those two in the back. We have loads of anti-shield in the front. This can be a general point defense, I think, we're going to go for. Um, point defense. Aerial weapon point defense. We'll try that. We need probably to get a lot of... Though, yeah, we we'll, we'll just some more point defense in the back as well. I like being protected, okay? You can't judge me for that. If it's too much point defense, we can get rid of it. Um, IBS. Where's IBS? Oh, there's so much IBSs. We need that much IBS? <laughs> Thinking about it, maybe it's a bit overkill having that much IBS. 
We're still a little bit more. Let's, let's think about this for a second. IBS, IBS, IBS. I don't want to have... We're going a bit overkill with the thing. So we'll go for that. We've got loads of slots left over. We'll have some small long-range anti-shield at the front. Oh, that could be interesting. No, we'll go for um, anti-armor. That's not our faction's gun, though. Do we not have any anti-armor small weapons in this game? We've got anti-small, but their range is awful. Hmm. I guess we have this. Screw it. <laughs> I made a mistake. I accidentally installed this anti-hole weapon. What a, what a horrible situation. Okay, so we got that sorted out. Um, they're all anti-shield. What the hell, man? Let's go somewhere else. This place sucks. Screw you, game. I'm going somewhere else. I can't afford anything. We're poor. No. Ah, the poorness is overwhelming everybody. We're too poor. Is my new ship slow, by the way? It is. It, we need to get a tug as well at some point. That's going to be other military world. When do we get paid? Oh. Right now. Cool, that's handy. <laughs> Where do I get paid? Uh, right now, sir. As you were asking the question, I was giving you the check. I don't know why I stopped moving there. I was holding down the left click button there. The <laughs> game's like, nah, you don't want to go this way. Okay. Attempt two. So we seem to have a lack of... We need more of these Reskin ones. Don't we have some on some of my random ships? We have one here, but there's only one. I want more than one. We're out to make do. We're out to make do. This is what I was on about earlier. Anti-armor array, 800 range. Well, for now, we have to equip this random one as well. We're, we're trying to switch it over later. Um, small weapons. It's still a bunch of anti-small. We have more rest. Oh, yeah. I guess we have some random anti-small craft ones. The revolvers, I guess. Are we did here? Are we done? I think that's all the, uh, oh, there's two here. State support beam. Superior punch anti-gravity. This could be pretty good against, like, um, small ships. Screw it. We've already used a lot of flux capacity. Oh my god, flux per second. Damn! We haven't even equipped any, um, things yet. I'm going to equip. Gunners. They seem pretty good. Oh, Shock Trooper. Have you seen this one before? Uh, 175 speed, 180 speed. These guys are both very fast. I'm going to go for fast ones, mostly because I want them to be able to kill frigates if they're nearby. I can just go like, go and kill the frigates. That's my plan. So they're going to be my anti-small ships, my, my fighter wing. Um, okay, so... To, we are massively off when it comes to actually... It's fine, don't worry about it. So, first things first as well, we need to make sure we get this massive targeting unit. How far do the shields extend? Oh, there's so many control groups, it's absolutely ridiculous. There are too many control groups. They're everywhere. Um, Reskin turret S. Oh, they're on the sides, aren't they? There's too many. I've got. I need more control groups, everybody. Hmm. Screw it. <laughs> I really want an empty control group at the back so I can um just go on seven or whatever. And I can just use that as the auto command fire. 
Oh, those are oh no. It's not working out very well, good, is it? Um, let's put those back there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's okay. Let's try that. The, the control group's going to be cursed, I'm thinking. How expensive is this ship, by the way, before we actually deploy it? It is uh, deployment point 60. We need to find against an equivalent 60 ship. Is there an equivalent 60 ship to use against? No. We go get some onslaught. Oh. We may lose against this because this is a devastating ship. That's not a good start. Oh, it's got the same trait. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Cool. Oh, the OC <laughs> the different size turrets is devastating that. Ooh, flux is a big problem. Okay, we may need to deal with the flux in a better capacity here because the uh, it's not gone well. This is a bad ship design, everybody. I suck. Okay, uh, let's see. I need the weapons that... I think we need these. Because they got really good range. And then they switch back over to having anti-armor on the smaller guns. We'll think about it. We'll think about it, everybody. I don't want to spend too long doing this for now. Because i got to try and find the weapons I need to actually build the ship in the first place anyway. Which is a bit annoying. Uh, for now, though, let's increase capacity of other stuff. I will use it. It just may not be very good for now. Let's put someone else in charge of my battle cruiser here. We can always switch back if we need to. It's not a big deal. Oh, do we have enough crew? Are they going to scam me? Oh. Well. Wait, what did I do? I didn't, did I buy stuff on the black market? Well, screw you. <laughs> you just cost me like 20 grand in resource. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's see. I want more crew, do I? Yes, we need more crew. More supplies. And we're done. What I can potentially do, I'm just going to do it right now actually, if I go to custom production, we go to my fashion, weapons, I want only want my fashion by the game, my fashion only please, oh too many, too many, why am I doing it this way, let's do it another way. It's going to cost a lot of money, I know. I know. I want to have every weapon possible in my base so I can equip stuff. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Oh, it's too much, isn't it? It's too much money. I take it back. I take it back. That's too much money. <laughs> we just do the weapons for now. When we go back afterwards, we can go and get some weapons from there. It's fine. Okay, let's go in to save our system, shall we? Where were they attacking? I don't know. Military? Where is this location, game? Show me on the map. Thank you. Oh, it's in their system! Oh, that's a bad place to be. Okay, fair enough. Let's go over that. Oh, wait. Did we invade them and they're reinvading us? Is that what's happening? Maybe. Oh, look at the amount of fuel we're losing per day. That is insane. Oh, is that the... Oh, I've gone past the system. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. With by very slow speed, <laughs> we really need to get a tug. No, friend!
Yes. Screw it, I'll be fine. What can possibly go wrong, everybody? Do I even need to be here? <laughs> what is that weapon? I've never seen that before. What is this weapon? What kind of oh they're using Volkov industry weapons? Oh wait, it is it's doing pretty it's doing it. It's, it's a it's a glass cannon. I've made a glass cannon, everybody. Also, its shields are absolutely pathetic. You can see how small that shield was a second ago? This is a hulking monstrosity. With very little fucks. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I like that. Look how small the shield is. <laughs> it's tiny. I'm back, sir. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. That's not good. Call him back up. I'm about to get overwhelmed in a second. I wasn't paying attention. That that whole laser is epic. I like that. Good 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 weapon there. Good weapon. Hi. The scenes my ship's ability is this if we've got to hope that we murder whoever comes in front of us. That seems to be the ability here. I may have panicked a little bit with the reinforcements. I think they were actually... It, it needed... To be fair, the station is nearly dead. It nearly did die. Nice. What is happening to my ship? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just bouncing off whatever it is. What is that? Auto cannon. <gasps> that could be fun. So I've decided on that little battle there. Um, this gun is awesome, even if it's not from our faction. We probably want to get a bunch of... Oh wait, was it called the Saint Support Beam? No, it's this. I think this is what was doing the damage, but I'm not sure. Damage per second... Well, 1,000 damage per second... Okay, what about this guy? It's, it's actually... This gun's better than... What? <laughs> how? But how? We need more of these. And we also need to get rid of these as well. But now though, I could probably get rid of this for that. It's got better range and it's anti-shield, so that might help us out a little bit. Uh, let's put them onto the main thing at the front. Where is it? Oh, it is on here. Cool. Sorted. Oh, space refit. Oh, I should not. The... Okay, my bad, my bad. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. It's fine. I'm sure there's going to be more attacks coming soon because we're in the middle of enemy territory. Let's have a quick look down here, shall we? But. Everybody, we'll probably deal with this next episode. So I probably won't be able to re quit my Dreadnought drawing episodes because we're probably under attack in a second. But at least when my um, my station finishes building those weapons, we can go and do a new design for our good old ship here. I probably should have stuck with what I normally do, which is having a lot of anti-shield being the large slots because I can keep the enemy flux at maximum. And then we have some smaller range... Um, anti-armor when we're getting close. But we'll deal with it between episodes. Uh, not between episodes. We'll deal with it next episode, everybody. Apart from that, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time.